All right, hi everyone. My name is Nimheel. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Let's go build the house with Uncle. I assume we're gonna do. Those plans make any sense? Oh sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and. You do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. While you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? He'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. <laughs> You get on with this. Wow. And Uncle's just sitting. And now he's sleeping. Crazy. Wow. Gotta love the music, it reminds me of Heyday. Have you ever played Heyday? My girlfriend's crazy about that game. <laughs> it's really close, actually. And let's hammer the nails. Why are we hammering there? What does that do? Keep working. We're together. <laughs> Come on. good and then the next one come on uncle This music's well, getting a bit annoying. So hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. Any weather. <laughs> we're together. <laughs> wow. Okay, we're just goes on and on. Wow. Oh, 
I'm just I'm just spamming X. Oh, finally. And Some I think that's and everything. <laughs> wow. John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> Now we're going to write her. My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. You will, unfortunately. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. That is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met That's Uncle beautiful. while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. Wow. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. A few days later. Let's see if she comes. Well, we know she does, but... Cowboy Builder. That house is gorgeous. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Well, he's gone. I guess we ride. Hey, it's probably gonna be a... A while. I guessed right. No, wait, he's up here. Sleeping under the tree? Incredible. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin'. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. Yeah, 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 yeah. This yeah. is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming? Ranching? Planting something? The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so... So cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. We're going to build another... Yeah, yeah, I think we had a barn in Red Dead 1. Can we go? In the black water. Let's go. Please stick with me, Uncle. Good. Now, this fella probably saw you. Thought, here's some corn husk idiot. Some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, I got respect in the board. Because if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Oh my god. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let's get robbed again. <laughs> oh no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Huh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? You're in enough debt as it is. I gotta help you all I can. Oh, God, wait for old uncle. Come here. Let's ride together. All right? You coming? You were saying before you bail on me. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. <laughs> and how are we? How's little Emily? Oh, there you Emily. go. I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> he kind of sounds like Maybe Hosea. Uh, we're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you my again. Wife, Jerry, yeah, it's and it's you, been sir. Pleasure is always great pleasure. Love your work, of course. I think that's the same voice actress who say pay for this. <laughs> same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you. And David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but this <laughs> man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. <laughs> John! Hi. All right. Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I, you got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? Oh, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got All much right. choice. All right, then. Come on. Look at him, a... Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Uh, Tell we would need a haircut. There's money coming in. Oh. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. All right, um, do I know the p Painted Sky? I'm gonna take this path. All right, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Old Why do I always take out. these kind of weird We're paths? Sadie! Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios. And some regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law, except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. Are we supposed to go over? Let's check the map. Nope, not at all. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice weren't what I heard about them. Got a hold of 
this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. Yeah. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Yeah. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> It's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Yeah. Woo! John marston has got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that, this is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down know. and take a look. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. All right. All right. You... I don't see any lock. There was no lock. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Come, come. Fuck me! <laughs> Oh, that was easy. I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <clears throat> oh, God. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Nice. Let's get him to the sheriff. This will not be that easy. <clears throat> Come on, Ramon. You have Let's my word on that. Ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. <clears throat> I hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Was it really that easy? I wonder how much money we'll get. I don't even know how much debt we're in. Probably a lot. Like, we bought a barn. Oh, this was Rhodes. The Greys and the Braithwaites. Shit. It's been a long time. That's right, we killed the sheriff here. Oh! I am sorry, my friend. I'll, I'll, uh, I'm sorry. Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Let's hitch the horse. What? Get settled, boy. Come on. Come on. I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred. Three hundred for her head. Be quiet. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> Uh, hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give two thousand dollars in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Oh, me yeah. and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. Yeah, oh, something, something's so, gonna Ramon. happen. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the 
bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Yeah, they're coming for him. They have to. Maybe not. We've waited for days. Who are these people? Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. Oh shit. You want that friend back? You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas. I knew it. We kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him have it, boys. Let's get him. And one more, please. <laughs> Love it. Let's go. Did I get hit? I can't hit anything. Come on. Let's use the bolt action rifle. Um, bolt action rifle, please. There we go. Where are they? Get him. I guess we're keeping him. What was it? Come on. Oh shit, they're breaking the him out. The jail. They blew my jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Oh. Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. All right. Now the mission begins. Mount I up. knew it. Boy, where are we gonna find him? Yeah. He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. But that was days ago. Bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. <laughs> he got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah. Yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez, we're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, I'm not worrying about that either. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take it. $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a yeah. reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually. 
If I got into who deserved what, second guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. Yeah. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. We had prizes on our heads. Man, everything. Being a criminal must be so goddamn complicated. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Okay. Set on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. I could shoot them here and now. I'm sorry. Come on. Come on. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get him. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those <laughs> bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. Nope. Okay. And shoot well. She wants to die. Holy shit. There she is. God damn it. She... Oh god. Come on. Anyone else? There's one. Who's firing at her? Got him. Anyone else? Oh god. What? Oh. I will. What the hell was that scream? God, this is so bad. I need the bolt action rifle for this. This is so bad. Um, items heal myself. There we go. Oh, God. Can't kill anyone. I'm trying. Jesus. Please. I I I don't know. There we go. I'm coming. He didn't die. Is 
please. <laughs> oh, jeez. Understand. I'm trying. God damn. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought that was kind of a, you know, maybe a driver, or you know, not a driver, but somebody who rode. Oh, we have to redo it. Oh no, we have, oh my God. So we have to do it all. Okay, let's just do it real smooth. Let's not push too far. Please. Nice. I think he's dead. Yes. This is going well. There we go. This is going much faster. That's him. Let's not shoot him. Please. dead. There we go. You want to die right now, Cortez? I'm going to die anyway. So you really want me to shoot you? You might get lucky in court. Get over here. All right, all right, amigo. <laughs> Try anything clever, you're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. What's his plan? Get out of there. <laughs> I said, get out of there. Easy, easy, girl. Oh, you gave up easy a long time ago. We got him. It seems like. Hey, look out. More of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down now! Okay. They're coming. This is, this was a mission, all right. Hold on! They keep coming, all right. Ramon still alive. Let's reload. Ramon still alive. Die. I think we we're done. Just be. Son of a bitch. Crazy. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. This was a oh, tough bastard. Bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. You have no oh, idea, John, how much time you're going to be spending in Mexico. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You coming? I'm always trying to be so fast. Come on. Will you follow me? Yes. You were saying before. You, you're a dead woman. And you are a dead man. 
that the Lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you, and we will kill you, you, and anyone who is close to you. You. <laughs> oh, come on, Sadie. Can't you? Wait for me. Let's go. You were saying? So, you were just talking about something. Oh, you want money? <laughs> hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you were just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Well, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Danita Hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the <laughs> hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold, $5,000. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Cause you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. Oh, damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time. And he gets mad. Friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, Shut up. Now we're gonna come. Get him down. The sheriff better move him quick this time. Big mistake. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. Oh. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <clears throat> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to Santa Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. What a loud mouth. Money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. <laughs> money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Well, we got some money. This music is nice. They've done well to kind of set the old Red Dead 1 bells ringing in your head. With the environment and with the old places and the music. Alright, nice. Well, I'm gonna end it here. My name is Nimmo, thank you so much for watching and please do consider subscribing if you want more of this kind of content and I will see you in the next one. Bye.